So I got my second official gravel race in the books on Saturday. I went up to Gainesville, Texas to participate in the Texas Twister, which is put on by the same uh, organization uh, as the race that I did back in January, um, Spinistry, which is a local um, race group here in North Texas. And this race, while there were some things that were better than the first race, there were some things that were a little tougher. Um, if you remember, uh, in January, I did the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it was pretty cold, and I was not prepared for riding my bike uh, on a muddy gravel race uh, road uh, in the 30 degree temperature. Now, um, I've got some equipment, I got some gear, um, I was a little bit more prepared uh, for what to expect. Thankfully, the roads were not muddy um, this time, even though we got a lot of rain this week. Um, it was a combination of um, loose gravel, hard packed gravel, really rocks, and then some paved um, roads. There were some uh, paved back roads and there, there was small sections where we were actually out onto the, um, the highway. But I never felt, um, I never felt at risk or anything like that. I did purchase a one of those Garmin uh, rear mounts that pairs to my bike computer, and so it alerts. Not only does it alert uh, others because it has the blinking light, but it also has a radar component. And so on my uh, bike computer, um, it starts to um, display. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but it displays something so I can know that somebody's coming up from behind me. And it actually picks up a pretty good distance away. So I definitely felt safe the entire time. Now I will say that I didn't necessarily fuel properly for the temperatures. It was pretty toasty. Um, it got up um, at least into the upper 80s. It may even got into the low 90s. Um, I took two large bottles of Gatorade mixed with my um, UCAN hydration powder. And while um, I had enough fluid to get through the race technically, I would say the last 15 miles, I was very, very careful on how much I was consuming in. What I didn't do properly was um, fuel. I should have had um, a peanut butter sandwich or a Cliff Bar or something along the way, and I didn't. Um, and I was really feeling the effects. There was um, some sections where I felt like I was going about six miles an hour. Now, there were other sections where I was cruising along pretty good. Um, I think my max speed was in the upper 20s. And for gravel, um, that's not too bad. I think overall, I ended up with a right at a 16 mile an hour pace. So wanted to report in that the race was a success. Um, and by that, I mean I didn't get injured, right? I made it on and off the course. Uh, I had a great time. I got out there. I got to do some exercise. I did capture some um, on-course video, right? So I'll share that with you. And I think ultimately at the end of the day, I took, um, what, 31 out of 40 something. So not a great performance. But again, this is something I'm still um, getting used to, still kind of learning. Uh, I would say in the last 15 miles, I probably got passed by 10 people. And I gotta say, they looked so strong. They didn't just ease past me and were within striking distance. They came up quick, they blew past me, and before I knew it, they were gone. And so hats off to them. They were some really, really strong riders out there. So um, not deterred, I'll continue to um, get better, get stronger, and get more practice. So. I uh, hope you enjoy the uh, the footage of the on course and uh, thanks for watching.